Hi guys, this is Aegis, and I'm bringing to you a game from the US ladder. This is going to be Six Jacks Major versus a good friend of mine, me for the win. He's going to be spawning over here as the Blue Terran player. We'll see if he's able to take down this Grandmasters level player, um, Six Jacks Major. Uh, I'm not sure what MMR is, but it probably has something to do with the ELO points behind the uh, laddering system. So Six Ma Jacks Major is our Grandmaster's Red Terran player. He is a ranked, uh, I believe, five right now. He was rank one at some point. So we'll uh, see if me for the win is able to take down his Terran opponent in this game. It's going to be Metalopolis, and they are spawning in cross positions and in TVT. This could uh, allow for some really long games of turtling, tanking, tank pushing, things like that. Good luck, have fun, says me for the win. We're going to see uh, how this game goes down. So it'll also depend on what they decide to do. <laughs> GG says uh, six jacks major. I, I wonder if he leaves the game right now. Uh, looks like both of the players are going to be starting their barracks. Uh, me for the win does have his barracks just a slight ways behind. I saw the minerals go down uh, slightly earlier for Six Jacks Major, and there is the refinery coming up on 13 food for both players. And uh, looks like uh, me for the win over here as well. We'll see him probably get an orbital command unless he's going to go all in. Uh, some kind of rush, but both players are grabbing the gas, so it's probably not going to happen during this game. There's the barracks uh, going to be finishing up real soon for Six Jacks Major, and he's going to be getting his orbital command uh, as soon as this uh, SCV finishes up. And over here we also have the barracks finishing up. We'll see what builds they decide to go on this map. Uh, they could go for uh, some heavy M&M. This will depend on the tanks of the your opponent being completely out of position. And there's the orbital command coming up for both players. Both players now scouting around on the, around the map. There's a later scout for Six Jacks Major. He's going to be checking up to this location right now. Both players are finishing up their first marine. But it does look like me for the win is opting to get a reactor as of the moment. He's going to be sending out his... Uh, um, Marine to the bottom of the ramp to make sure that no scouting information is gleaned by any SCVs that do decide to come this way. Six Jacks Major also has his Marine parked over here. Looks like the SCV is going to be checking over here. I wonder if it did see the Marine. So it looks like the SCV is going to go ahead and retreat and there is an SCV that is going to check over here. Uh, Six Jacks Major is going to back up with it. Not going to lose that I hope. There it goes away with 15 HP. Just a scratch to his suit. And it's going to be able to make its uh, way back to the Zelnaga Tower. And it looks like Me for the Win pay is paying attention to the map. We'll be able to drill off five more HP from that SCV. It's now limping around on its one uh, leg, one good leg. We have the uh, command center coming up for Me for the Win. So he is going to be going for an expansion. And his opponent is going to be getting a tech lab and a factory up. So we'll see what kind of build he decides to go for. He is also getting a tech lab on there. So he's probably going to be making some tanks. Not quite grabbing the second gas as of yet. We'll see uh, what this entails. We also have the mules dropping down. The second gas getting picked up right now for me for the win. He's got the factory halfway complete. And his command center is halfway complete as well. The marines are going to be checking around the base. To make sure nothing uh, funky is going on. Maybe even pick off into something that is being placed on the low ground. Uh, we've got the SCV. Uh, continuing to stop this uh, watchtower from being able to get controlled by his opponent. He's got uh, more marines out in the field for Six Jacks Major as of this point. He's going to be moving out with those right now. Blue Flame Hellions are on the way. Blue Flame is being researched. So it looks like the no gas does indicate Blue Flame Hellions. He's only going to be able to produce those one at a time, but those will be extremely good against those marines. That first marine is checking around on the base of the ramp. And it looks like Six Jacks Major is coming over here with his first few marines. Does me for the win see this? Let's take a look at his vision. No, he doesn't. The Marines are just sneaking by the range of that uh, Zelnaga Tower. He only he only has three Marines over here. Two more going to be joining up on the high ground. Looks like a Six Jacks Major does have six Marines, so he do is at an advantage. And the Hellion is going to be moving forward, going to take a couple of free hits from the high ground, so he knows exactly what's happening right now. He's going to be dropping a Mule and getting out his first Siege Tank. Once that is out on the field, he will be completely saved. He just needs to put the Marines behind the Siege Shank and let the Siege Shank take the damage. 
And it looks like an SCV is going to be moving out here to place down a bunker. The Marines are also going to be moving forward to cancel on that bunker. Looks like Six Jacks Major is going to be advancing forward. That Sea Shank is up on the high ground now. He is going to have to spread out his Marines so that he doesn't take too much spread damage. He's going to be doing some uh, nice damage here against the Hellions. Maybe they aching them out with that um, one Sea Shank. However, a lot of Marines have been. Uh, uh, killed on both sides and a medevac is going to join the fray over here going to be able to heal up those marines that one hellion was lucky enough to get away two kills on that hellion and an expansion is up for six jacks major he is able to actually float it out ahead of, of his opponent me for the win so he's going to have to lift the, this command center real soon to be able to secure his expansion however i believe he should have an scv lead no he does not he has actually short two SCVs in comparison to his opponent. Looks like we're going to have a couple of Marines loaded up right now. Going to be going for some sort of drop. Two Siege Hanks out on the field will be able to hold the line against any additional Hellion harass. Six Jacks Major over here with five Marines guarding his ramp. It looks like Banshees are on the way as well. Cloaking Field is going to be completed as well. So he's going to try to do some good harassment with that Banshee. Banshees are standard to get at least 30 kills. And uh, on average, maybe uh, 50 kills on a Banshee. It's not, not too big of a deal, especially if your opponent is Terran, I guess. Because they have those imbalanced mules. We have the first Banshee now scooting out onto the map. Cloaking Field will uh, probably be done by the time it gets over there. The second Banshee is also on the way. Looks like we have a drop coming from the backside. There is a Supply Depot in range to spot this. So Six Jacks Major should see it as soon as it gets in range. And there's the Medivac drop. So we'll see him respond to that. Getting all his Marines from the front. Going to be pair dropping into the backside. Going to deny the mining of that gas. So it will delay any sort of siege tank production. However, two barracks are on the way. There is that medevac in the air. Is it going to get targeted down? No, it does not actually. So that medevac is going to get out of there for free. Uh, did uh, stop the gas mining, so that was quite worth it. There is a marine over here. Did I miss any SCV harassment by the banshees? By the ban by the banshees. Hmm. Well, I guess this one Banshee is going to be parked over here. I wonder if there's another one. There's that one Marine getting taken out over there. Vikings are now out on the, out on the field since he does know about that uh, Banshee threat. Looks like the Vikings are going to be scooting around the map. Going to check for any additional Banshees. There's one uh, scooting this way. It probably will get picked off as soon as those Vikings make their way over there. It's going to get spotted by that SCV. So the uh, Banshee... The Vikings will be able to react in time, but no, it gets cloaked. It's going to be moving over here. Going to get some kills on that Banshee right now. It's got one kill now. Going to be picking off a couple of Marines, though. The SCV is going to get pulled off the line. A scan going down, and the Vikings will be able to take that Banshee out. No, it does not. It's going to come over here. Okay, there. It goes down. It does not take out that mule. The mule is lucky to get away with 12 HP. It looks like a transfer back to the main. And at the same time, we have Six Jacks Major taking his third base. Wow, what a quick ba third base. He's going to use the Banshees to harass and just to expand after that. He's not really got that much army out in the field. It's just two tanks, a couple of Marines out. So uh, me for the win is actually uh, quite secure. He's got more tanks out on the field than his opponent. A couple of Marines going to be reinforcing the front over here. The Starport has switched over to Viking production. And another factory is getting placed down so you can continue getting out those uh, Banshee or no, those uh, sea shanks. And looks like more supply depots are going to get placed in the backside to make sure that uh, no additional drops do occur. There's one idle SCV over here uh, going to be chatting with the Marine in this corner. And it looks like me for the win is going to throw up a couple of missile turrets to make sure that does not happen again. He definitely wants all the scan that he can get. He is also throwing down his third command center. We'll see him take his third base real soon. The SCV and a Marine are going to be checking in that location. Siege tanks are going to be uh, parked over here to help defend that expansion as well. It's going to be an orbital command and not a planetary fortress because in TVT, of course, Siege tanks outrange planetary, planetary fortresses, so it sometimes makes those quite useless, especially if Marines are just dropped behind the mineral line. And the planetary fortress has no range to take care of it. Looks like Me for the Wind is going to be moving the vast majority of his tanks to the front, not really leaving much inside the main. There is a factory with the uh, reactor upgrade, reactor uh, coming up, he's got a SCV still idle over here, and gonna be producing a couple of Hellions right now, he does have the blue flame upgrade, so he's gonna do, try to do some damage, 
there is a drop with three Hellions in it right now, so it's going to be a three Hellion, Blue Flame Hellion drop. We've got uh, SC uh, Marines over here checking uh, for any sort of dropping action, as well as for the third expansion timing. Uh, Six Jacks Major is actually quite safe with all of these tank lines everywhere. He'll be able to easily reinforce all of these locations. He's got a drop incoming of his own. Two medevacs, just short two marines, are going to be headed in this direction. And at the same time, we've got the uh, medevac over here going to be dropping off a couple of blue flame hellions. Going to be moving into the mineral line over there. Looks like Six Jacks Major is going to be scooting into here as well. Two Vikings do just spawn, but they're uh, being queued to move over there. Looks like a bunch of... Uh, Damage has been dealt, has it? There's a, this one medevac over here. It's really hard to tell exactly how much damage has been done. But over here, Six Jacks Major has a denied mining once again, losing a couple of SCVs. Let's just take a look at the uh, workers' kill tab. We have, uh, let's see, Me for the Wind has uh, killed 15 workers. Both players have killed equal amounts of workers. However, Six Jacks Major is ahead in the food count. He is going to be. Uh, at 138 to 112 right now, me for the win is going to be moving forward. We've got um, Six Jacks Major massing up his force over here as well. Uh, looks like this push is going to be moving across the map towards the third base. A scan going down to check out what's over there. Looks like there will be a Marine in place to spot that coming. Um, the uh, uh, Blue Flame Hellions will be able to easily take care of that one Marine. Looks like the Blue Flame Hellions are going to be advancing forward. More Vikings out on the field for Six Jacks Major as of the moment. No, it's even, it's just that uh, these Vikings over here are less damaged. The Sea Shanks are four. Me for the win are going to be sieging up on the high ground. That Viking will be able to take out that last Viking over here. And the Sea Shanks, two Sea Shanks over here, just kind of running into the middle of tank fire. We've got Me for the win sieging up over here. The Marines going to be advancing forward, going to do some massive damage to those Sea Shanks. Only three Sea Shanks left. Six Jacks Major can just unseize his tanks and roll through this force very easily. All the sea shanks do go down for me for the win. It's now 147 food to 96 a food. However, Six Jacks Major does have a, the huge tank advantage. There is a orbital command coming up right now. A couple more sea shanks spawning over here, but it's gonna be really hard to pull that sea shank count back up. The Hellions are running straight into that tank fire. We've got two Vikings also scouting around the map to see if there's anything that they can pick off. A fourth base is on the way for Six Jacks Major. And only now is me for the wind saturating his third base only now started the gas over here as well He's got more Hellions out on the map He's gonna have to do some uh, really good damage with those on the mineral line if he wants to be able to come back in this game We're at the 17 minute mark and we've got this push coming forward for six tracks major It looks like a very powerful foot push 165 food to 124 and of that we've got a 93 army supply to 55 army supply of me for the win and he's going to be moving in here right now going to be able to take out these a few hellions very easily me for the win is going to have to abandon this expansion maybe even lift it and float it away he's going to be massing his tanks on the low ground over here the scvs may even have to join battle by repairing the vikings over here for me for the win are going to target down the vikings from six jacks major he's going to be losing all of those Vikings, though, due to the superior Viking numbers. Me for the win, floating his Vikings into the wrong position, I guess. GG, he calls. There's a, not much of a chance to be able to get back into this game. Uh, no final battle, but it was quite clear that Six Jacks Major had the upper hand. Uh, and this has been an Age of Starcraft cast. We hope that you've enjoyed everything that you see on this channel. Please do subscribe if you do enjoy it. And also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Age of Starcraft. And uh, check out our APL website at mocktagcorp.net slash APL. It's going to be a great team league this summer. Please do check that out. And this is Aegis signing off.